Three weeks ago, the Goulds' beloved Beagle Whippet mix got very sick. Catherine Gould says Milo seemed to get better, then took a turn for the worse, and died that night on the way to AA Small Animal Emergency Service. Well, they had told us about the, the autopsy for dogs and that maybe that might give us some answers because we have another dog and we were concerned about the potential of poison or that sort of thing, um, if he had gotten hold of something in the backyard. Eventually, the lab told the Goulds the necropsy, an autopsy for an animal, was inconclusive. But that's not what upsets Catherine Gould. When the paperwork went to the pathology lab, there was no written correspondence that he was supposed to be saved and that his body is supposed to be cremated, and that's what I'm so very upset about. The administrator for the emergency clinic confirms her story and says the lab disposed of Milo's body in the usual manner. The Goulds were refunded the $220 they paid for the autopsy and cremation. They still have Tucker, a six-year-old beagle mix who seems almost as comfortable on two legs as four. They say he misses Milo, just as they miss the chance to say farewell properly. It is a huge deal to me because it's closure. It's being able to bring my dog home, to bury him. Um, actually, I have a farm my mother does, and we have a, land, a spot dug out for him, actually waiting to have his ashes there. John McGarry, ABC 36, your local news source.